this chapter, uh, I'm not I'm not an expert, so I'm uh, I have to to say this. But uh, you know, I, I'll um, introduce you uh, about the, the chapter content, and then you might be able to maybe add some uh, interesting uh, bit that will help uh, us in understanding a bit better. Okay, as I, as I do not have experience in profiling functions. So. Um, because in fact it's it's very interesting. So it's a um, uh, short chapter for 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 what uh, are the, the the few things that I mentioned. But um, I think that there's much more to see behind it. Uh, and um, if you just look at the um, packages uh, that are mentioned in the chapter and have a look at the uh, documentation you find many um, extra interesting things. So this chapter is uh, chapter 23, Measuring Performance. And uh, our learning objectives are understand how to improve your, uh, your code for making it faster learn what are the tools for improving your code and test how to profile your code all right so first things that we need to think about is that we, we can make the our code faster but we need to find where is the bit that needs to be improved so before you can make your code faster you first need to figure out what making it slow so what the most important piece what is the beat that can be improved um so what what's going to happen within this chapter is that we are going to see what is uh, the meaning of profiling your code which is measuring the runtime of each line of code using realistic inputs. Then we are going to experiment with alternatives to find faster code for very simple functions so I'd use just the function that I mentioned in the chapter. Uh, and then finally, micro benching. This is interesting and uh, it's used to measure the difference in performance, which is basically break down your code and then you uh, like measure each bit and so you micro bench in your code or your function to 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 improve it okay so the packages we need are uh, this provis and the bench package so profiling is um, it's a tool, basically. So the tool to use, uh, it's a profiler. Uh, and it allows for, for example, a meaning that can be like a bit more uh, understandable or familiar. It's, uh, it allows for sampling the code performance through stopping the execution of the code every few milliseconds, for example and recording all the steps. So this is the first thing that we are going through for measuring the performance of a function, for example. So here we, we have this, this function um, that we assign to this um, letter S. And this function is, uh, um, the, the first bit of this function is a pause. So before to start, we, we uh, put the first uh, um, millisecond uh, uh, stop, and then the, there will be two other functions, in this case, G and H. So we see what's happened. Um, so the G function as well does the same things, but inside contains the H function. And then finally, the H function is just a pause. So what's happened here is we are just 
putting milliseconds, uh, pausing the code each millisecond, so to, to see, um, uh, to, to profile it, basically, okay? To, to look at each bit and then see what can be improved. So the, the, this post function is from Provis uh, package and uh, it's suggested to, to be used instead of this uh, syslib function uh, from base R because um, it's um, um, basically provides you with more uh, information and um, uh, it, it's um, this provis also provide like visualization of your um, um, uh, code profiling uh, and everything and uh, is suggested to use this instead of, uh, of the other one which can can actually grab that uh, uh, what what happening in that precisely basically I'm, I'm, as i said if you like to jump in and add uh, uh, anything that you think is uh, would be improving this this information that pretty much appreciated so and then uh, what we are going to, to use to provide this uh, for example this f function that we just made uh, is to use this utils from the utils package this r profile uh, function and we see an example so we put everything in a temp file so that it will be everything cleaned up away to the next in the, the very next uh, session part so just to you to, to see what's happening and uh, we use this uh, uh, our profile from uh, utils package uh, where we store our temp file and um, we set an interval of uh, 0.1 uh, second okay so then we call our function and um, our function uh, release this uh, there is nothing for the function basically and if we are profile null, uh, nothing is, is fine. But then if we write lines and read the lines of temp, that, so the things that we stored inside temp, okay, so we basically stored inside temp with the output of our function. Produced from from our function, and the the output of this is that is inside the function. So the, there is a pause, and then is an element uh, named G, an element named F, and then some evaluations, and then again. So because f is made of g and h, the first thing that it does and is going inside g, but g is made of h, so it's composed of h. So the, the next step would be pause, and then h, g, and f. And then the final step, because h is just uh, a pause, it starts from H and then uh, so the, the, the F function. So G is not. No. Um, so this is because we use this example, but I'm sure that um, so other example that would be the best. That's not the best example to approach. Um, this this um, so basically this showing you how to use um, a profiler. Okay, but 
then uh, you need to visualize and see what's happened okay so for example if i i saved i go to my r to show you what's happening here can you see my r yes um i saved uh, this piece of code in um, an R script, okay, which is uh, here, the script. And so this is this profiling example. So I've, I've saved this function there. So if I now uh, go into source this script, I can do differently okay i can just put the function inside of this but uh, it's let, let's say that we are in another environment so we source our function and we prove it the function to 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 visualize what's happening okay so i source the the function then i use this uh, from from provis this provis function on the f function Okay, this is what's happening. So we have a flame graph. where you can see the time spent in each section of your function so that, that, that you can uh, like actually focus on which part is taking more time than, than other parts. Okay, so then if I go here, I have a memory and we talk, we'll talk about the memory uh, in, a, in a subsequent example, uh, because here is not, as you can see, the, there is no time uh, taken uh, within memory, uh, but there may be cases that well, when this is this. If I do the go to the data tab, I see that the time spent is 240. Uh, milliseconds. Then I can open it up and see that F is um, made of G, a pose, and an H. I open up G because there's something inside G, which is H and a pose, and then there is. Okay. This is the time spent in each bit of your. Um, on your file. So the, the, the entire function is 230, G is 130, and just suppose it's 50, for example. Okay, you can even uh, like or publish this profile result or save it for later if you want to have a look at it. Then, uh, so going back to the presentation, um, here I've had the, the same thing. Uh, as you can see, I can even interact uh, with this uh, provis result. In my presentation, I forgot to, to mention that within the options you have this uh, other things that you can use: add memory result, add lines of code, etc. So. Um, this is the part of the, the other things, but uh, memory profiling and the garbage collector is a part which is uh, interesting because 
what's happened is that if you uh, basically have uh, um, a loop going on within your function, just as in this example, so you have the x, which is an integer, and then you have a, a for loop. So this x is building up itself each time with different values that goes from one to uh, 10,000, for example. So if you run the same thing, so I can source the file, as I said, or otherwise I can put the function inside my provis function, but I need to add this curly bracket. So it's not that uh, I, uh, I do provis, uh, open bracket, and put inside the code of, of f, okay, the f code. No, I need to add this uh, curly bracket. So I need to open up the curly bracket and close the curly bracket. And then inside, I can put the function, which is this. Okay, so remind that you need this uh, curly bracket if you don't source it, source it, okay? So, um, what's happened here, th this is a for loop, okay? If you, if you see, um, um, there is something mentioned within the memory. Okay, let's, let's go back to, to R and see what's happening in real time. If I throw this, this for loop, okay. Um, I have some some memory mentioned here within the the, the plain graph. This is a plain graph, which has uh, some memory is taken, uh, and it is uh, actually a garbage um, thing. Okay, so basically, it's wasting time filling up. Uh, this this vector and then crashing anytime something um, that is just being filled and it says that the the, the time uh, wasted is this and it's taken uh, sorry the memory uh, that is filled up and then emptied is this and then this this is the total memory uh, taken okay. Is that mm, sorry about the, the background noise? Okay, um, so as, as well as before. It's we go to the data tab we we can see that uh if we use we can use um it's mentioned in the chapter for um something might change but otherwise you, you see that um this this breakdown of, of what's happening inside the function so going back to the presentation um, basically you can figure out what uh, what is the source of the problem by look uh, by looking at the memory column in this case copy on modify x in each iteration of the loop creating another copy of x okay but th this is an, a nice tool to use okay to see if there's any garbage uh, going on within your function that is taking time and memory uh, then there is some limitation that needs to be considered like um, profiling doesn't does not extend to c code basically you when when you do you do not need to expect that when you do profiling your function one of your function for example this might be leading to suggestion how to extend the code no the, it it, it uh, basically locates the the, the the bit of your um function that needs to that take more time than than other or maybe focalize on on 
the bits of your function and showing you the part where um, and the time taken from each part of your function. Then it's up to you if you want to, uh, I don't know, somehow extend your code. And so it's a, like a trial and error somehow if you don't know how to do it. But basically, um, do not expect that any suggestion how, how to make the code. This is a, um, then um, the, it, it, the best way it's a suggestion more than a limitation. The, the best way is to name, give a name to your functions, because otherwise, if you have function inside function inside function, or more function are mentioned, it might be difficult. Or so a, a bit uh, like a bit more complicated to figure out where where is the problem. Um, so. It, it's best to name every any function that you, you are. And then finally, um, have argument. Uh, the arguments are evaluated inside other functions. So you, you have uh, uh, elements that are evaluated inside other functions. And this is uh, something to, to, to consider. OK. Um, I had a look at this first exercise. As I said, if you like to add anything, uh, you would be much appreciated. Um, uh, this, this, I did this exercise, okay, and uh, you use as well this provis provis and the curly brackets. You put inside a function. In this case, it's different from another function, so it says that. Um, this is a function of um, 100,000, and then you have, uh, how do you make this, this 100,000? It's repeating one. Okay, and then remove uh, what, you, what you just made. Okay, this is what happened. If you run, this bit like this with torture true it go it goes inside a loop an infinite loop and it never ends so it suggests for example to to understand why this is happening it's going to, it suggests to, to see what this function does i don't know if you know but this removes the element okay so here is the the solution uh, from, from the, the functional solutions. And as you can see, you can um, do without torture tool or, or with torture. And if you do without torture, it says there is an error. If you do with torture, it doesn't stop. So keep running, running, running. So basically what's happening, is it goes inside a loop, as I said. If you, if you look at the function, you understand that it, it's basically building up a vector and then remove it, building up a vector and then remove it. OK. Have you? Any questions? Okay, going back to the presentation, um, we are now at uh, so we had a look at the first exercise. What, what, what means intervention? So the measuring of performance of, of a very small piece of code. Okay, very small piece of code. And this is useful for comparing small snippet of code for a specific task. Uh, we use the bench package 
because you have high precision time. So, for example, if I uh, run a random uniform of 100 elements and then put this inside, um, so I have this X, okay? And um, I put this inside this benchmark function uh, and do a square root of X and then I power it uh, to this by this. Uh, uh, you can see the, the result of this, um, this snippet of code releases some, some interesting information like this expression as a minimum of um, 516 nanoseconds, uh, while this other bit as a minimum of 3.06, um, uh, this is a um, microsecond. So you have the median, uh, the iteration per second, and the memory allocation, which is the same. Okay, so you can see that the square root of x uh, as a median of a certain nanosecond, uh, while the, if I do x powered 0.5, which is the same of a square of all the x. This has a, 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 a different medium time. But something in the chat, I cannot read the chat, and I don't know why, so I don't know if you want to, to see what's inside the chat, maybe. Yeah, I cannot. You can't read the chat? No, I can't read the chat, I don't know why, because it gets stuck. Yeah. Uh, Arthur just said that he had to drop off for some family obligations. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. I don't know why I cannot um, open up the chat. We did a lot of time as well. So anyway, it gets back. So anyway, I had to have a look at this thing. Maybe I'll do later. Oh, now, we have this interesting uh, visualization. I really like it. But you, I needed to install this extra package, ggb swarm. I don't know if you tried the bit of code, like plot lb. Uh, lb is the this uh, double square root. So my my system uh, asked me, so I the warning that I missed this package. So. I just uh, installed this extra package that I didn't have, and uh, I could uh, make this plot. As you can see, it shows that the, the distribution of these two expressions, two different expressions, uh, is uh, highly um, uh, skewed. Okay, it is instead right skewed. Okay. So there is a garbage collection. This is showing the garbage collection. And this is showing the same. Okay, so it's uh, all for this uh, this chapter. Here there's some, uh, I don't know if you have any to add. If you had ever profile a function, how did you do it, maybe? Okay. I found this interesting. So this is the promise package and it's showing you um, the things that we have seen with a bit more different examples. For example, if you use this function, um, you have this result, which are different from before. And so here you have some interesting things to show. Some examples. Yes. It's a short chapter, as I said. If you have nothing to add, maybe because um, I yeah, don't, I, don't, I don't have too much to add. Just that I've. I don't have too much experience 
with measuring performance, but I have uh, used some of these concepts for shiny apps. Um, yeah, that's that's been helpful for like finding out why my shiny app is running slow and figuring out what parts of the code I need to edit. It It's a bit different though, because since it is interactive, when you enter, uh, when you start the profile, you actually go into your Shiny app and basically go through the Shiny app and act like you're the user. And then it saves that session and records um, records your clicks and, and what went on for the profile. And you you are talking about this uh, this 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 graph this um pro pro uh, pro -vis, pro -vis. Yes, um, and I th I think for the third example on here, it goes through a shiny, shiny, code. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it will op actually open up your uh, excuse me, it will open up your shiny app you kind of click around like you're a user, uh, you close out and then it will create that uh -huh. profile. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, this is definitely useful and something that I need to get more comfortable with. Right, yes. Well, for example, this, this is a, uh, because you do um, a shiny app and then you can see what part of the app are taking uh, more time or where is the garbage of your app and each bit, what is the, 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 the time taken. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely, this is very helpful for for understanding uh, where things slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think it's it's all for today. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Next next week uh, we are not. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, volunteer to present for speech. We haven't mentioned that they the the orders are the uh, so they they uh, add uh, chapters while we were doing this course. Okay. Um, next week it's you traveling. Are you okay with that? Right. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, and um, they mentioned that in, the, in this chapter there will be more to know in the next chapter. So you you tell us more about <laughs> about this uh, next week. Then we have two two weeks Christmas time break and then the, the last chapter. So all good. Awesome. Thanks, Federica. Thank you. So see you next week. All right, I'll see everyone next week. Bye. Bye-bye.